Describe the path taken by carbon dioxide released from the tissues of an insect to the atmosphere. Carbon-4 oxide diffuses out of the cells into the tracheals and follows the trachea and finally diffuses out of the atmosphere. Insects require oxygen to live and produce carbon dioxide as a waste product just as humans. That is where the commonality between the insect and the human respiratory system essentially ends. Insects do not have lungs nor do they transport oxygen through their circulatory systems. Instead, the insect's respiratory system relies on the simple gas exchange system to bath the insect's body in oxygen and to expel carbon dioxide waste. Insect respiratory system Air enters the respiratory system of insects through a series of external openings called spiracles. These external openings, which act as muscular valves in some insects, these external openings, which act as muscular valves in some insects, lead to the internal respiratory system, a densely networked array of tubes called tranchies. To simplify the insect's respiratory system, it acts like a sponge. The sponge has small holes and lets water into the sponge, moistening the sponge. Similarly, the spiracle openings allows air into the interior tracheal system bathing the insect's tissues with oxygen. Carbon dioxide, a metabolic waste, exists the body through the spiracles. The spiracles can be opened and closed in an efficient manner to reduce water loss. This is done by contracting muscles surrounding the spiracles. In order to open, the muscles relaxes. Next question.